Hello everyone and welcome back to RimWorld Volts and Villains. Last episode was a bit of a mess, a bit of a shit show if I do say so myself. I uh, really appreciate everyone's comments saying that was definitely not my fault, but I do admit to making quite a few misplays. Alara probably didn't need to die. <laughs> Actually, as I was watching the video during editing, I was just hitting myself for all of the mistakes that I've made, but it is what it is. We got a wanderer to join. His name was Lion, but now it is Versi. So Versi was the ideal male in a female dominated society of drow. His abilities, particularly with the blade, gave him special privilege and station, so much so that he was valued more than even some of the female drow. He viewed other males in his society as lacking ambition and weak and has grown to hate any other guys. A demonic ritual gone awry has separated him from his home, though even if he were to find the way back, he will not go until he has proven himself in his new life here in our colony. Now, I believe it's pronounced Versi or Verse. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's Verse. <laughs> Versi has been wandering around and is going to stumble across this bloodbath of a colony. And I do believe it might be in his personality to say, okay, you guys are a mess. Let me help you out. <laughs> to which I am thankful. Another thing that I really need to do is go into the mod settings for our dynamic population. Where is that? That and set our new desired population all the way up to 40 because now we have 40 submissions kind of crazy I'm gonna set it to 35 just in case I guess uh, it seems like a lot of people I, I think the highest population I've ever personally played went up to like 25 or so and that seriously lagged out my computer I'm gonna set it to 35 and we'll see what happens a low population 20 <laughs> I really don't know. Critically low, five, and then high. High population, 45, critically high. Well, no. Okay, so here, we, we don't really want to go above 45, right? So max population, 50 works, I guess. So let's say high population is 40, 35, 25. Okay. I don't know. If you guys have ideas for this, let me know. I can always change it around if I need to. Something we definitely need to do this episode is clean up this huge mess. We really need to get our defenses set up. So that means a lot of stone cutting here and here. And of course, we need to mine through here just in case people spawn on this side of the map so that that doesn't happen again. This kill box is going to save the day, really. Although I got to hand it to the these iron husk beetles they really pulled their weight yesterday I'm pretty sure it was this guy and maybe his friend uh, wherever wherever his friend might be here um, they they really I credit them for downing these three here and luckily they didn't die so we were able to quickly strip them of their gear and now we have we have stuff to wear and we have some weapons including an arbalist which is really good I'm pretty sure the arbalist might be the one of the highest DPS weapons in the medieval times mod so that's helpful and then a bunch of swords so we're good this is really good we got lucky very sad that Gallant died. Very sad that Bjorn died. But you know what? Less mouths to feed, I guess. <laughs> we are working on getting food storage done so that we can start bulk cooking our food. Then after that, we really need stone cutting. So let me type in stone cutting and see what we can do here. That way we can get stone cutting done much faster. Once we have all of this squared away, I do want to go do this saving machine quest. Uh, save this guy and turn it into one of your characters. Let's go ahead and get started here. What are you up to, Versi? You need to set your priorities up. Oh yeah, I should also mention that I got a few new mods. I got the Moody mod just because it's a lot easier to double check everything all in one little screen here. Complex jobs updated, so now we have a nurse job, which is going to be really nice. Nurse basically takes care of sick patients instead of leaving all that responsibility to the doctor. I also got the expanded prosthetics mod. I'm not quite sure where it is here. I just I just installed it now. Uh, but that's only because the crystal body parts mod doesn't work. <laughs> In another playthrough I was doing, it just it just doesn't work. I think there's a mod conflict with vegetable garden or something. Another thing I noticed from another playthrough that I was doing is that we do not need such a huge space for these wild herbs. So I'm going to delete these and redo it real quick. Okay, so this large one is going to be lavender, and then the rest are calendula, comfrey, and hellbores. 
Okay. This is going to be more than enough, and that is why we have so many herbs in our fridge right now. Like, like way too much to even use. But I did find out that actually, if you go to health here, um, we can actually use hellbores and calendula as medicine here. So that's cool. I was talking about not having any herbal medicine on the map, but actually all of these wild herbs can be used as as medicine. It's just not as good as herbal medicine. Oh, I forgot to finish <laughs> versus priorities. So basics is fine. Warden and entertain is pretty good. Definitely construction. That's awesome. So he is really good. He's got a double passion and a 10 in construction. So shroom, I'm going to put you down. And same with you, matchlock. I, well, actually, matchlock, you have a little passion in construction. So I'll keep you on. You don't need to harvest or grow, but you can mine for me. That's great. In fact, is your mine any better than shrooms? Not necessarily necessarily. I'll keep you at a two for now and then crafting is pretty good too. Let's make you a crafter and you can manage as well. Okay. Yeah, I didn't go through his uh, his bio yet, but as you can see, he's a bladesman just like Alara. So I suppose he's kind of a spiritual successor, although I know that doesn't really bring her back. I do want to try to figure out how to bring her back either with resurrection or maybe with a necromancer. <laughs> Alara is not gone permanently, uh, but he is a jogger and he's tough. So he's pretty pretty good. He's a he's a decent character and this 10 in construction is seriously going to save the day. So let's go ahead and give Versi a really nice melee weapon. Let's see. The best one we have is the short sword here. It's a fine short sword. What does that do? Market value and melee cooldown minus 7.5%. That's actually really nice. So here you can equip this. I'm going to let them all equip whatever they want so they are set to anything right now, which means they're going to prioritize, I believe, high defense defense close as long as it's above 50% and eventually I will set up oh Mavris I know I know you like Delara <laughs> eventually I will set up their own unique outfits so that they aren't wearing heavy armor and probably being super slowed because of that Betty what are you still doing here no <laughs> get out of here <laughs> what is your problem oh man all right uh let's make versi funsies even though he's probably fine oh awesome food storage systems is a go that just means we can make a food prep station how should i do this all right i'm gonna put that here i'm gonna disassemble this and then i'm gonna move this that way so who wants to do that versi can you work on this i know we need some steel for it so hopefully someone gets to mining soon actually versi would you like to do this for me I guess I'm calling you Versi instead of Verse. <laughs> I like Versi, I think it sounds cute. All right, let's see here. Quest active, Gates rescue. Another rescue quest, that's awesome. Gates is a 16 year old, doesn't matter. We're gonna change you anyway. Uh, let's see where you are. And where are we again? We're over here. Kind of far, but not too bad. This is all flatlands anyway. So yeah, we're definitely gonna try to save you. Just I need everyone to be kind of okay right now. And then we can go out and, uh, and save these people. Hooray, okay, and then, I'm so sorry, Versi, can you just do like this stuff real quick? Deconstruct that, let's uh, reinstall this here, and then we're good to go. So yes, cook bulk week stew, do four per colonist, I guess, and unpause at two, and then regular week stew, four per colonist. Okay, great. And then we'll, we'll worry about hearty stews and cheeses later. Although we might be able to make a lot of cheese because we have these cow people. Yeah, let's go ahead and try that. Let's just make some bulk cheese forever. Sure, because we have a limited stash of milk. So that I think that works. Sophie, how are you doing? You're okay. Can you cook forever, please? <laughs> oh, marriage. Matchlock and Tara. Matchlock told Tara that he wants to spend his life with her. Oh, oh that's adorable. I'm happy for you guys. So it looks like Versi claimed this bed, but actually I'm going to set it to, I'm sorry Versi, to Shroom. Because I think at this point he, he deserves his own room. Tara, after you're done feeding the stew to Matchlock, I want you to just cut stones forever. Cut stones until you can no longer cut any more stones. You know, I appreciate you like running around hauling everything, but I would rather you just like cut at stones. <laughs> what the heck? This happened my last playthrough. They just run around hauling everything for some reason. This is gonna take forever. Girl. No. 
I'm deleting this. <laughs> Stop. Here. There we go, I think. Yes, okay. Okay, great. Maybe I should just put the stockpile in here for stone. It's gonna make it look really ugly. You don't really wanna put a stockpile of just like regular stuff in here, but it might help their pathing issues. <laughs> Versi, kick, kick Betty out. Seriously, get, get out of here, Betty. I don't care. Oh, both of your legs have been torn off. Oh, huh. Well, shoot. Should we capture you? You're kind of useless, but if we capture you, we can human sacrifice you. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, let's do it. So who's nearby? Um, Shroom. Let's go and capture her. She's just gonna be useless in this prison, but we'll be able to at least sacrifice her when the time comes, when we research human sacrifice. Ooh, ambrosia sprout. Oh, right here too, that's really nice. Do I have a manager set up for that yet? I do not. So let me go over to foraging, new job, and just ambrosia bush, and we're gonna set that to like 3,000, doesn't matter only fully matured all right so when these are matured hopefully the manager uh the managing desk will automatically set that to be harvested also maybe it's time i figured out this level up mod so use experience to level up those who can level up oh wow holy crap okay <laughs> everyone just got a ton of freaking points all right let me open up my form here Okay, I think that works. And really all I'm doing is just spamming points into whatever you guys said was like a one or a two in the form that you filled out. I don't know what the check marks do. I don't know if these X's, uh, I have no idea. <laughs> if you guys wanna let me know, that would be great. Ooh, toxic fallout. Okay, no, Sophie. Don't you have alter fate? Here, yeah, alter fate. Alter the flow of time to avoid predicted disasters. Do that right now. Okay, Sophie is unsure if she has had any effect on the toxic fallout prediction. Oh my gosh, fingers crossed, because honestly, we, no. <laughs> not after all of that, we're, we're not gonna deal with the toxic fallout. Hopefully that worked. You know what? I'm gonna set everyone to number one for stone cut, uh, except Mavris, who needs to be researching. And like, whoever gets to this is fine. Prison break again? Oh my gosh. All right, everyone. Do we have a ranged weapon yet for matchlock? I thought we got an arbalist or something, but of course I can't find anything in this huge mess here. So let me just open up my... Yeah, I do. Arbalist. All right, matchlock. You're welcome. <laughs> Everyone else, let's go and stop these guys from prison breaking. In fact, can we go this way? Not through the prison. All right, everyone, let's stop these guys. No, Pushka. No, okay, phase strike this hoe. Nice. <laughs> Good job, Versi. How's everyone doing? Okay. Oh, poor Mavris. I probably shouldn't have him hang out with the rest of the team while we are. While we're running around. Versi, you want to help? Hey, dude. No? Oh, you, you, uh, blade spun. Thank you. Whoopsie. Here, come over here. Save Mavris. Max, max, max. You guys gonna be okay? Hopefully you just get bruised because they don't have any weapons. Room, no! <laughs> Um, okay. How are you, Pushka? Here, Sophie, you deal with that. Okay, Versi, capture Sheckley, Terra, rescue Shroom. Actually, no, Terra, attack Shine, and Mavris can rescue Shroom. Luckily, they're not, like, terribly injured. They are just... Oof. Pushka went berserk. Where did you get that weapon? Excuse me? Did Terra drop her, her bow? I think so. Tara, you fool. Can you like, here I know, blink and then magic missile. Blink over here just in case she tries to run. Bloop. And then magic missile. Might kill her, but I don't care. <laughs> Capture Pushka, please. Pew, 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 pew. 
Yeah, you can stop. She's down. <laughs> All right, go ahead and capture a shine. Not a problem, I guess. <laughs> How is everyone? Mostly just bruises. Uh, Sophie's actually bleeding out. My God. Yeah, Sophie, here, you can shoot. You just, you go rest, yeah, and someone else can go capture, here, matchlock. Um, come capture Pushka. Not, not strip Pushka, she's, she's not wearing anything. Really not what I need right now. Pushka died from blood loss. All right, not my problem. Not my problem. <laughs> and Sheckley has an infection. Crap. Um, uh, Mavris. Can you actually, yes, tend to Sophie first. Oh, it's so hard to like care, I guess, because you brought it on yourself. All right, Sophie's okay. Mavris, you're tending to Shroom. How's Shroom? He's okay, he's not bleeding or anything. Ugh, tend to Shroom. We'll, we'll worry about Sheckley. Sheckley is not gonna survive. The fact that we didn't get to the infection fast enough, and even now we're not getting to it fast enough. Shine got an infection. <laughs> Well, we'll see, I guess, we'll see, but I I don't have any, I don't have high hopes, let's say. <laughs> and another infection from Shine, okay. Well, that's what you get, I guess. Oh, thank you, Versi. These embrasures are going to save lives, literally. And we just need this built and this mined out, and we should be good. I feel bad about Gallant here. Actually, I know that we can bury animals, and I think that we should. I think we should bury Bjorn and Gallant. So, Versi, actually, can you do this right quick? Thank you. And we are going to set this to animal and... And Tara, would you like to bury Gallant? And Mavris, would you like to bury, not pick up, <laughs> bury Bjorn? There we go. All right. I feel better, I guess. <laughs> How are your infections? Actually, she's going to be fine. Sheckley is okay. Shine is not okay. She is not okay. I don't think we can save Shine. Okay, Tara is going to try to tend to these infections, but this is not a very sterile jail at all. So pretty sure Shine's a goner. Like we could cut off her leg, but we can't cut off her torso. <laughs> so GG, I guess. Oh, wow, we have more beds built. That's awesome. All right, let's set this to Sophie and this one to, I guess, Versi, right? Is that everyone? Oh, no, Mavris, Mavris. I'm so sorry. Here, not uh, not Versi, but Mavris. Versi can have the next bed. Medical emergency. Sheckley. I think Sheckley is okay. Yeah, it's Shine. Actually, the infection in her torso is catching up. It's her right leg that might need to go. Let's go ahead and cut off her right leg. Maybe that'll help. Let's find out. Oh no, <laughs> Mavris failed in a minor way while operating on Shine. <laughs> well, <laughs> Mavris, try again. Okay. Okay. She's, she's bleeding out, but he's patching that up, and her torso ex infection is starting to become immune. So we saved Shine. <laughs> wow, I'm I'm really impressed. You know what I just realized? I never gave Matchlock his class. <laughs> Whoops, I'm so sorry. Let me add that real quick. Matchlock is a sniper. That would have really helped, I think. Uh, last episode when we had that nasty raid. I'm so sorry, Matchlock. You know what else I'd like to do is tame all of these cow people just because they actually give a lot of milk. We'll, we'll tame one more bull boy and then two, two cow girls. And then hopefully we can start like a little weird weeaboo farm up here. <laughs> and I'll set up a management job to butcher excess cow people, I guess. Oh, we got a kangaroo. Oh, that's great. This is the one that can carry really well. This, okay, perfect. So yes, kangaroo trained in guard. That'll do. And actually these cow people can be trained in hauling, which is really cool. But for now, I'm just gonna keep them as they are as as livestock i guess now kangaroo where am i gonna put you home animals yeah 
What would you under animals? How much jerked meat? We still have quite a few jerked meat. So let's see. What can we do here? We can do saving machine that has two enemies or gates rescue that there may be an unknown threat. It only has one star. So I'm wondering if maybe this one is fine. I think we can do this one. So we'll take Terra and, and Shroom. Yeah, we'll take Terra and Shroom. Or no, Terra and Matchlock. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so form caravan. I think this is, yeah, that's gates up there. So Terra and Matchlock. Now, unfortunately, we don't have anything we can ride, but that's fine. We'll just go on our own two feet and then we'll pick up some bedrolls. We'll bring three bedrolls because there will be a third person eventually. And medicine? Let's just bring like five. Okay, choose route. Here, it's gonna take one day to get there. That is not bad at all. Okay, accept. Although I wonder if we should be doing this Castle Ruins quest that ends in three days instead. I kind of want to do that instead. Oh, I want to do both. Okay, actually, cancel. Let's do this. Let's do two caravans. One is Terra, who's going to go down to the castle ruins and take what she can because we don't have any pack animals that can that can go. And this expires in three days. Oh, there's two Persian cats. I forgot. I think she can do it. I think she can do it. Yeah. Okay, so Terra, you go. No animals, unfortunately. Take like five jerked meats. And I'd say bring a cloth bedroll. That's just going to weigh you down. So instead, just jerked meats and some medicine. Five medicine should work. Go to, yeah, let's go to the castle ruins. Accept. Yep, that's fine. And then I want to form a caravan with Matchlock. And you are going to go save that one guy. Same deal, except you're going to bring bedrolls. Choose root gates. Okay, um, more food, I think. Okay, got it. This should work. I think this is gonna be okay. I know Tara is still kind of injured, but it's just bruises and they're going to heal very soon anyway. Oh, shine. Okay, with that, I think I'm going to end this episode. Uh, not too much happened, but we did get our embrasures up. Hooray! We got Versi, who's really good at construction. That's going to save the day, honestly. And we got our food prep station, which means that we can make bulk food. Hooray! And we are about to go to the castle ruins, finally. And we're going to save this person up here. So, so that means we're going to have more people join our colony, which is going to be very helpful, I think. All right, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you later. Bye.